Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're completing off a grind that honestly took longer for me than I would like to admit, as well as kind of starting on another very tedious one that I want to try and get done and maybe the next day if I'm lucky. But if you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking on the Hypixel store, whether it be for some Skyblock gems for the brand new spring seasonal bundle skins or an upcoming fire sale, maybe you need some Skyblock gems for some booster cookies, don't forget to use my creator code on checkout. It is spelled just like my name, Z-A-C-H, code Zach. If you use that on checkout, you actually save 5% on your purchase and it's a great way to support myself in the channel. I do greatly appreciate everyone using my code. You guys are amazing. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So ever since I uploaded yesterday's video, I've been uh, still in the Crystal Hollows. Yep, powder grinding away, uh, mining for essence, and then also, obviously, the big one, Hardstone. And my goodness, am I ever ridiculously close to finally being able to have all the enchanted Hardstone required to craft a tier 12 Hardstone minion. What a tedious minion. Uh, like, seriously, I mentioned it yesterday. Like, whoever decided what the material cost should be for this, like... They clearly didn't test mining hardstone themselves. They were like, oh, it'll be cheap on the bazaar. It's fine. Because, my goodness, is this, like, this has got to be one of the most tedious minions to get in the game. Uh, like, especially on Iron Man. Like, on a regular profile, I would buy up this hardstone in an instant and just be done with it. Like, seriously, I would not put myself through this pain. Uh, not to mention, I could also buy all the essence if I was on a normal profile to max the essence shop. I can't imagine it's that expensive nowadays. And uh, I, I would just be done with this. I wouldn't have to be getting, getting overflow powder, which is, like, ridiculous. I didn't. Uh, there was a time where I didn't even know if I would ever max powder, let alone me sitting here getting, like, overflow powder. It's kind of insane. But one thing that is very nice... I did actually hit all the diamond essence that we need for that one upgrade I want to do. If you heard in yesterday's video, I want to get the high roller perk. The only problem is it's very expensive. costs 5,000 diamond essence for only two skyblock XP. But I think it's going to be worth it because I think we have some nucleus runs on our horizon with the uh, new update. Something tells me we're going to get more than just one Devon equipment piece. Um, if it's not on this update, it'll be at some point, and I'm gonna have to do Nucleus runs to get Devon Fragments. I have to do Nucleus runs soon anyways to get more Perfect Jaspers, and, uh, I want to basically have an extra shot at rolling for a Devon Alloy. Anything that can help increase my chances on Iron Man, like, that thing is insane. It's worth, like, 1.3, 1.4 billion coins just for the Alloy. Uh, if we could drop one of those, that would be ridiculous. So, uh, basically, whatever I can do to increase my chance, I will happily do. But on the bright side, too, we are almost done with all the Hardstone. I need 18,432 Enchanted Hardstone. Currently, I'm sitting at nearly 18,200. So, a little over 240 uh, Enchanted Hardstone to go until we finally have everything required to craft this minion, get our Skyblock XP, and get out of here for uh, a good while, at least. I mean, eventually, I'll have to max the Essence Shop. But uh, that's something we can come back to at a later date. I'm going to be honest. I'm so tired of powder grinding. Even though I'm going to have to get 20 million of the brand new powder when the update drops. So let me go ahead and finish this off. This shouldn't take me too much longer. But um, yeah, let me just sit back, relax, and get this done. Okay, it's been done. Uh, after way too long in the Crystal Hollows the last few days and our Hearthstone collection skyrocketing to 44.8 mil in total now. 29 mil being myself. And... Um, we finally have enough. We have enough enchanted hardstone to actually craft the tier 12 hardstone minion. Man, this took way too long. Please don't spawn on me, bro. Let me go ahead and clear out a little bit of inventory space. I'm going to be very careful about this craft, okay? Uh, for those of you who don't know, when I was crafting the tier 11 upgrade, I crafted the Silex by accident, which is a colossal waste. Like, literally a third of what you need to actually craft the tier 12 upgrade is what I wasted in one Silex, so... Going to do my best not to do that again. That would be um, quite unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and uh, grab out the Hardstone Minion. I should have it in my backpack if I'm not mistaken. I do. Hardstone Minion Tier 11. We're going to go Recipe Stone. And there should be Concentrated Stone somewhere in here. There it is. Okay. So I need 32 of this. Let's go and type that in. We're going to go ahead and craft this. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab these out, put them in my inventory. I'm not going to quick craft a Silex. Then where do I actually need to... Do I... Is there a minion or an NPC I need to talk to? I think so, right? Um, War Mines, maybe? Is it? Is it this NPC? I, I would assume so. It is. Okay, Hearthstone Tier 12. I, I don't want to open up any more menus before I bug it. Um, or, like, waste some and... 
I would be distraught. But a tier 11 hard stone minion, which we have, 32 concentrated stones, which we also have, and 2 million coins for a tier 12 hard stone minion. And I think this is our last tier 12 mining minion. This is the last minion I need from this menu here. But let's go ahead and do it. Boom. Plus 24 skyblock XP. And now we have a tier 12 hardstone minion. That is crazy. Man, this minion, this has got to be like the th like tied for the second most tedious minion to get on Iron Man by far. First being Inferno, obviously. I would say it's tied with Rabbit. Rabbit minion, I had this thing down for like two years to get to tier 12. It's insane. You can't even grab it by hand. But finally, a tier 12 hardstone minion. It is done. I'm put out of my suffering. What a ridiculous minion to try and grind for. Um, wow. Gross. But hey. It's done. We got our 24 Skyblock XP. That's what you love to see right there. The other big thing we can finally do is if we head on over to Gemma, the Diamond Essence Shop, we can actually afford the High Roller 1 perk. Um, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea if this actually helps for more rolls towards getting a Alloy. It's still probably the most useful perk for me to upgrade, though. And since I have 5,000 Diamond Essence, like, I literally don't know when the next time I'll have 5,000 diamond essence at once is. So I feel like it's worth getting. What's crazy, though, is that you can buy 5,000 5, diamond essence for 3.4 mil. That's how cheap these are. Like, uh, that's disgusting. But either way, for 5,000 of this stuff, we're going to get two skyblock XP, and we're going to get one extra random drop when obtaining a crystal nucleus bundle. Boom. There we go. It's been done. I can't go back. Uh, man, that was pricey. But hey, it's a perk maxed out. We're getting really close to being done with the Diamond Essence Shop. I'm probably going to finish the rest, though, through Dungeons. Uh, maybe a little bit of Powder Grind here and there to finish off Golden Diamond. But I'm, I'm quite confident that as we work our way to Cata 50, we'll get some perk upgrades and maybe just have to mine for the rest. But either way, um, yeah, 91.6% done Diamond and 84% done Gold. So you love to see it, and we're getting pretty close to finishing those off, and I guess I'll take my two Skyblock XP. Well, I thought I'd start today off with a Pumpkin Milestone, which I actually just hit. Uh, pumpkin 29, nice to see. We're 20% of the way done with Pumpkin. That's honestly not too terrible. Um, I need to build a better Pumpkin Farm. I literally need to... Oh my goodness, one... <laughs> Well, I forgot, I still haven't done. I still haven't fully fixed my melon farm from when I got griefed. I haven't built the switchbacks yet. I need to do that, and then I need to basically paste this to the two plots on the far end over here and plant pumpkin stems instead and basically just have a pumpkin farm of the same thing. That still needs to get done. I'll get to it eventually. One one thing at a time, okay? No, 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 stop pressuring me. I'll, I'll get there. But, um, yeah, either way, we just hit a pumpkin milestone, which is super nice. And, uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of garden this morning when I logged on. I think that's, like, the best way for me to do it is kind of just do a little bit of uh, garden here and there. And I think that's going to be, like, my best bet. I mean, garden is, like, such a long and tedious grind. It's insane. So, one upgrade at a time is uh, basically the best way to do it. I need to craft some cookies, some cactus. Okay, cookies. And then the other thing, too, is visitors. Visitors are gross, man. I do my best to do as many of them per day as I can, I guess. I mean, it's still really slow, but, I mean, I, eventually I need to get to, I think it's 10,000 visitors for max skyblock XP, which is, like, insane to think about. Also, I sold on my nether word. That's a little, little awkward. He's going to be sitting there for a second, but... It's insane to think that you need to get to 10,000 uh, visitors. It's 5,000 to max out the equipment pieces, but you need to serve 10,000 visitors for max skyblock XP. And we're almost at 3,000, so we're almost 30% of the way to being done. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, just disgusting stuff, really, all around. So one thing at a time, though. And uh, yeah, Garden's one of those things that's just like a lot of passive grinds all kind of shoved together, being worked towards like at once, which is pretty chill, but... Very tedious at the same time. But either way, happy I was able to get a uh, milestone this morning. And um, now I'm probably going to go do something else. I think that's enough farming for one more. I farm pumpkins for like an hour. So we're back in the Crimson Isle. And this time I'm taking care of some dive gas. Um, however, like my reason might be a little delusional. But I'm convinced that I can maybe get lucky today. I want to try and get a God Roll uh, gas cloak. Like really badly. I want a full set of God Roll um, vanquished equipment for... When I actually go ahead and uh, do some Blaze Slayer when Aatrox is in office. Also, full disclosure, I plan on doing Aatrox, but I'm going to be honest. If the update drops 
during or like even before Aatrox starts, uh, I'm putting Blaze Slayer on pause, and surely you guys will understand that. But um, yeah, I really want to do some Blaze Slayer, assuming we don't get the update yet. And um, yeah, I kind of just want to make my setup as good as it can be. And one of the steps to do that is to get some God Roll uh, Vanquished equipment that I'll actually be using for Blaze Slayer. Like currently, I have the. Um, God roll magma necklace as well as glowstone gauntlet obviously i haven't been too lucky with my blaze belts in fact i've been very unlucky with blaze belts i think i've crafted like five or six double chests of blaze belts and i don't have any i don't have a god roll one yet oh and looks like uh we actually just hit 5 a.m so the gas are gonna stop spawning but um yeah it's kind of useful if i do this too because i do still need to max out the bestiary as you can see i'm at 1449 out of 3000 gas kills so we'll see how many we do i'll try and do as many nighttime cycles as i can basically and hopefully we can get a decent amount of um the actual tentacle meat which is obviously the most tedious part by far and where is the tentacle meat actually 33 man i did not get much from that one night uh i can craft three of them I mean, we may as well we may as well just leather rip every single uh, nighttime cycle and just see if we get lucky. So let me go ahead and grab out a bunch of gas tiers. I know how many I need. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and craft one. That's not it. Two. Veteran, at least. And nothing. Okay, yeah. Uh, for the record, we're looking for veteran vitality, um, which is what I'm rocking on the magma necklace as well as the vanquished glowstone gauntlet. Still haven't gotten lucky with the blaze belt. And then obviously our gas cloak needs some work. I have some crafted back on my island. Actually, if we head back there, I can show you guys my progress uh, in, in a sense in terms of trying to go for these gas cloaks. I don't know which. Uh, here they are. Yeah, so I've crafted a good amount. I'm not going to lie. And what's insane is I've only gotten two veterans and two vitalities uh, in total. And then these are obviously all the ones that are neither. So a little bit tragic. But luckily, I should have all the gas tiers to do this for a good while yeah i have sixteen thousand four hundred and nine gas enchanted gas tiers and if we go ahead and look at the gas cloak again just to double check how much how many do i actually need uh so it's three stacks per so okay yeah i mean it's not it's not it's not terrible it, it's not it's not a great amount actually it's not as many as i wish it was uh 192 per i have what sixteen thousand. so let's do that divide by 192 it's enough to craft like 83 gas cloaks. That's actually insane. What? I might have to put my gas menu back down. Um, hmm. Hopefully we get lucky before then. And then blaze belts, I just, I haven't been lucky. Not to mention how unlucky I was with the magma necklaces. This was all going for god roll. And then I've been crafting more and more uh, glowstone gauntlets. And yeah, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Okay, how many, however many tentacle meat I have in my sack right now should be a decent gauge of, like, how many I can actually craft per 20 minutes. I think, like, a skyblock day is 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, well, uh, they, like, gas only spawn for, like, a very small portion of that during the night from, like, 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. And I killed every single gas that spawned overnight. I had three tentacle meat in my sack before, and now we have 31. Um... Yikes. I, so I got 28 tentacle meat from killing every single ghast in a night cycle. Uh, how many ghasts was it actually? I was at 1,449. So a little less than 200 ghasts you can kill in like one night cycle. Uh, if I'm not mistaken there. So yeah, that's um not the best rates. I'm not going to lie. It's really not. Um, let's go ahead though and grab out nine stacks of um, enchanted gas tiers. Like so, and let's just hope we get lucky. Put me on my misery, man. Seriously, please. Like, let me let me be done with this early. Let me get lucky on something in this game. Veteran, I mean, sure, you know. Oh, so close. So close to being good. So close to being good. But hey, a veteran and a vitality, honestly, I can't even complain from three crafts. I just can't. Brutal. Actually, brutal, man. Uh, what, a, what a disgusting grind. Can we also talk about why don't the tentacles in the matriarch area drop tentacle meat? You know what I mean? Like that, that's, all, that's what I really want to know. So either way, we got our veterans, our vitalities. We got one more of each that we can add, veteran and vitality. There we go. But uh, honestly, if I don't end up getting god roll, I'm trying to think about like what would be like a decent replacement for that. Like I'll probably use this instead if I don't get god roll before uh, the event starts. But still, just insane. And then how much is it actually to make to upgrade to the vanquish version? That's my real question here. Um, 
Four stacks of silver fangs. Okay. Really? Okay, so how many enchanted gas tiers is that? Let's do uh, silver. Silver fangs. Four stacks. So what? 256 is 6,400 enchanted gas tiers. I literally think I have to put my gas minion back down. I didn't even think this through. I th like I saw 16,000 enchanted gas tiers. I was like, man, I'm chilling. You know, like I will never need to go through that. I think my gas minion needs to be put back down. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, if I actually want to grind this out, like, I mean, right now I'll have like, let's say I got God rule right now. I would have like veteran three, vitality three. Um, it's yeah. I, th I think the gas minion has to go back down. Jeez, that's insane. Also, in between killing gas, this right here should be a blue goblin egg. It is. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the spread. Holy. Well, thank you, fellas. And uh, just like that, I'm gone like the wind. I got my blue goblin egg, and that one right there puts us up to a whopping 64 of them. We have a complete stack of blue goblin eggs. We're uh, we're getting there. We're like over two thirds, or not two thirds. We're we're almost at two thirds uh, in like two. So. Yeah, we're getting there. And before I go kill gas for one more night, we can actually go ahead and craft a few uh, gas cloaks. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and grab out 12 sacks, sacks of this stuff. 10, 11, 12. There we go. Let's go ahead and craft these. Gas cloak one. Dominant speed. Breeze mana regen. Fortitude life regen. And breeze mana regen. Um, unfortunately, they, they all look pretty, but none of them are what we're looking for. Well, been sitting here again, crafting a few here and there as I go, but uh, this is my second gas beast area tier of the day. So we're now up to gas 18. This thing maxes out at 20. Uh, we're two thirds of the way to being max gas beast area. And I'll probably attempt to keep on crafting uh, throughout the day, honestly. And you guys will see more progress on in the next video. I have a bad habit of always running out of time and honestly spending too much time on grinds that aren't video worthy but it's kind of needed for some things on skyblock i can't lie but it is what it is uh something i have to work on either way i have 20 more tentacle meat because i forgot to record the last few crafts but let's go ahead and uh grab out um three four five six stacks of gas tiers go and craft a gas cloak here mana regen breeze see that's nice but just not what we're looking for and experience one life regen one Fortunately, no god roll for your boy so far. Okay, last few gas cloaks for today, and then I, I gotta give up for today. I, I just have to. Um, I'm one off being able to craft five, but um, knowing my luck, I can't. So we got 49. We can craft four of these things. Let's see if this is the one, please. Lifeline Fortitude. Interesting. Lifeline Mana Regen. Okay. Like, this looks so good, but it's just not what I'm looking for. Mana Regen Veteran. Man, three lifelines. Like, if I needed a lifeline, maybe I do need a lifeline um, gas cloak. I have no idea. But I guess I'll take a veteran, and the rest can just get tucked away. But in terms of the beast, Jerry, uh, we've been making some really good progress today. We're at 2,312 out of 3,000, so it's coming. But one thing I actually wanted to touch on quickly before we call it for today is the brand new uh, spring seasonal stuff from Taylor's like uh, gem shop in the hub. This is the brand new barn skin you can actually buy. It's pretty cool. It's like the $5 gem package worth. And honestly, it's kind of a vibe. I, I also really like the layout inside. I like how open it is. Like upstairs here, we have our composter, visitors, and they like curve that way towards the door. And then your desk. I kind of like this layout a lot. Big fan of this. But um, yeah, that's uh, kind of the gist of the skin. And then down below, it's like empty. Like maybe I wish that this up here was down here or... I don't, I don't know. Honestly, no, I kind of like how it is. And then you have your, obviously, other NPCs out front. But pretty cool stuff. And there's actually a few other really cool skins in this seasonal bundle this time around. Um, as you can see, some of them are on display, such as the Cherry Blossom Power Orb skin. This one's actually pretty clean. If we go ahead and look at the preview, like, look at this thing. That actually looks sick. Like, I, I can't tell if it's animated. I assume it is. But, I mean, it just looks clean as is. Like... The, not to mention just the particle color as well as just like the actual shape of it like it definitely looks it looks like some type of orb which is kind of my one complaint with like the apple power orb for example like it doesn't look okay well now it really doesn't look like it, it's a power orb or something but you guys kind of get the point like this doesn't really look like a power orb you know so i kind of regret putting the apple one on but we have a couple other skins as well in the seasonal bundle a baby hydra skin for a hydra head that's pretty cool 
King Jerry Jerry skin, the P Fowl Griffin skin, which is pretty cool for only five bucks, Flamingo Phoenix skin, Toucan Parrot. We have an Awakened Eye backpack skin. So that's actually pretty sick. And Awakened Eyes are actually the thing that um, we're supposed to be getting for the Primal Dragon update. So a um, little, little teaser, I guess, towards that. And obviously the Enchanted Nook Barn skin, which I showed you guys. But like, we don't get many like Phoenix skins. And like, this Flamingo one is honestly. Honestly, pretty clean. I can't lie. I'm probably going to buy one of these. And if we ever one day do get lucky and get our hands on a Phoenix, I'll probably slap this thing on. But yeah, some pretty cool skins. If you find yourself checking out in the Hypixel store to pick them up, don't forget to use my career code, code Zach. But unfortunately, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to use code Zach in the Hypixel store. Subscribe, leave a like, and uh, honestly, we'll be right back at it tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys then. Take care and peace out.